This cracked me hard. Hi everyone, hope you are doing good. Your boy Al is here with Kaiju number 8 episode 8 review, but before going into that, I want to thank all of you for your support and love since I have just recently hit 300 subs thanks to you guys. With that being said, let's jump into the review. At first we see Hashina fight Kafka, who is amazed by Hashina's exceptional skills. Hashina, unaware that Kaiju number 8 is actually Kafka, questions Kafka's fortitude level and the difficulty of the fight. Kafka manages to deflect Hashina's attack and escape. Later, Hashina reports to Mina and the others that Kaiju number 8 has escaped. Kafka regroups with Kikoru and collapses, apologizing for letting Kaiju number 9 escape. Kikoru tells Kafka not to worry about it and to focus on himself. Next, Mina confronts Hashina about his battle with Kaiju number 8. It seems I was wrong, and escaping from Hashina wasn't as easy for Kafka as I expected, but I think Kafka was subconsciously still holding back his powers. Also Mina taking a picture of Hashina for fun felt a bit out of place, given her Ice Queen persona. We see Hashina argue that the Kaiju is a Daikaiju but suspects it isn't bloodthirsty. Mina tells Hashina they'll exterminate it later and suggests focusing on their current situation. Ikaruga calls Mina and Hashina, informing them that the kaiju that attacked Iharu and Reno is the same humanoid kaiju, kaiju number 9, from the selection exam, and that it has a literal human form. Meanwhile, kaiju number 9 is wandering a highway, devours a man who yells at him, steals his vehicle, and drives away. He overhears a news broadcast about his actions and codename but is more concerned about how to kill kaiju number 8. He plans to hide and adjust to his human body. Kafka, Iharu, Reno, and Kikoru discuss the battle between Kaiju number 9 and Kaiju number 8. Later, Iharu and Reno arrive at a defense force party, celebrating their first successful mission. If things keep going like this, then Hashina will figure out Kafka's secret pretty soon, and it will be interesting to see what Hashina will do then. I think he will just ignore the whole thing. Also I don't know why but I don't want Kikoru to have romantic feelings for Kafka. Moving on we see that many chefs arrive at the party with high class meals organized by Haruchi, which confuses Kafka. Kikoru informs Kafka that Haruchi is the heir to Azumo Technologies, the largest anti-kaiju arms manufacturer. Hashina kicks off the party, and everyone drinks and mingles. He tells Reno to observe everyone knowing they are mildly upset with their progress during the first mission and seeking improvement. Reno realizes he's not the only one feeling down and feels less discouraged. While everyone bickers and goofs around, Haruchi meets with Dojima, one of the head chefs, and they discuss Haruchi's father and the meal prepared for Haruchi and his allies. Many people seem to have daddy issues in this show, and I'm guessing Haruchi left his home because his father didn't want him to join the defense force or something like that. Also I wonder whether Haruchi is hiding his true powers, because he grew up playing with power suits, so normally he should be far more compatible with a suit than others. Next we see Hashina tell Kafka he's being promoted to an officer role in the defense force due to his admirable performance during the first mission. Everyone congratulates Kafka. Haruchi's friend expresses a desire to ensure no one in their group perishes. Later, Kafka visits Mina, who officially promotes him and tells him it will take time to fulfill his promise to her. Kafka vows to do so. Mina mentions she'll attend an HQ meeting to discuss Kaiju number 8 and 9, and asks Kafka to handle paperwork with Hashina in her absence, hoping he meets Hashina's expectations. Next, Kafka visits the library to research and notices Hashina training in a small training area. What Kafka did is really commendable, but from their perspective Kafka can't protect himself yet, so promoting someone like that to be an officer who will fight in the front line wasn't very logical. Also Mina encouraging Kafka in an indirect way was sweet. At the end we see Hashina notices Kafka and mentions he's preparing a strategy to defeat Kaiju number 8 when they meet again. Kafka vows to assist Hashina to the best of his ability, and Hashina mocks him for the statement. Meanwhile, Several wyvern kaiju fly through the air as a new humanoid kaiju commands them to descend to the ground. Yeah, 
So another new intelligent kaiju is making their move, and I'm not even gonna bother ranting about the lore anymore. I will just turn my brain off, and ignore how we don't know anything yet. Also I'm damn sure Ashina noticed Kafka's reactions about kaiju number 8. Nonetheless, it was an okay episode with some good scenes, some info dump and funny moments. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.